In the previous video, we saw how GitHub Copilot helped us with building a web application using Django framework. Check it out if you missed it. This is a video series where we explore all the things you can do with Python in conjunction with the Copilot. And now it's time for some NumPy. So the first thing that we're gonna do to use NumPy is obviously import it. And Copilot already completes the sentence as I type it. Now I want to create an array or actually define an array, let's call it R, and fill it with numbers from, so let's say zero till 12. Yeah, and I press enter and now tab and GitHub Copilot writes np.arrange with a 13 inside. And it's basically the same as you can see in the comment on the right. By the way, Copilot wrote this comment itself. <laughs> now let's run the script and you see that we have this array that we wanted. Now let's do some more interesting things. Let's find the max and the mean values from this array that we have above. So we are going to write this and print them, enter, tab, and again, enter, and then tab, and we have everything that we needed. Let's run the script and we have 12 and zero. GitHub Copilot makes the experience of writing NumPy much, much faster. Now let's find the median. And as you can see, Copilot already fills the comment that I'm writing. Yes. Oh, sorry, I forgot to print it. P and it already fills up the print statement. And we run the script and we have six, which is the median of an array from zero to 12. Now what we're gonna do is create an array and fill it with zeros. So let's say define array two and fill it with zero with four zeros and print it. Let's press enter, tab, and we have np.zeros with four inside. Now let's, let's say we have a third array. So let's call it array three. Okay, let's remove this. Copal already suggests us a whole sentence, but no. Let's say merge array and array two into a new array and print it. And we get the print statement, press tab, and we have concatenate array and array two. And as you can see, we have leading four zeros. How cool is that? Let's clean the console and go back to the code. I'm gonna remove all the code that we just wrote because I wanna do something interesting now. Let's say we have an array, a NumPy array, so array and so one, two, three, we have some duplicates as you can see and two times five. So three times three and two times five are our duplicates. Now let's find the unique values from this array. So print unique values in array and it gives us a print statement, which looks correct. So one, two, three, four, five, these are basically the unique numbers except for those duplicates. Now, how about we find the duplicate ones inside. Can Copilot do this? Mm, well, this kind of seems correct. Although Copilot hard coded three and five in an array. Well, it gives us kind of booleans of three times true and two times true at the end. And it seems like it found simply the indexes of number three and five in the whole array. That's not quite what we wanted, but it seems like that's the best thing that GitHub Copilot can suggest. Okay, so let's say we are gonna try to find the indexes of these three and five indexes and their values. Now Copilot suggests np where, but that's also not what we wanted. Can we do it in a for loop and kind of find the their values? So as soon as I type four, GitHub already completes the whole for loop. Now I'm gonna create a new array. Let's call it array two. And I'll say loop through array and find where the values are the duplicates. Well, actually let's rename this array, call it array two. And also in the print statement and then a comment. So loop through array two and find where values is true. And of course related to the first array. Yes. And press enter and press tab. Okay, it looks like it's gonna work. And it simply spits out the three times three and two times five. Well, not completely what we wanted. What I wanted is that it gives us a three and a five, meaning that these are two numbers that have duplicates, but seems like GitHub Copilot has a difficulty with that. Well, overall, I'm very, very satisfied by how helpful the Copilot is when using NumPy. So that's definitely cool. On the other hand, I don't think Copilot is at the moment ready to handle some complex scenarios when working with NumPy. So let's see how it's gonna improve 
in the following years. In the next episode, we're going to see how you can use Copilot to build some cool plots with Matplotlib. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.